Yo, this is made for a school project, plus this is probably inaccurate anyway. You know, I've always wondered for the past couple of seconds, how do game physics work? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to try and figure out in this cool game called Bad Piggies. To answer a simple question, does Bad Piggies have accurate real-world physics? The short answer, no, no, of course not. The long answer, well, you're just going to have to figure out with me. Now, first of all, what is Bad Piggies? Well, it's a cool physics game based on the Angry Bird where you use physics to beat game because it's a physics game. Now, according to my sources, the game is built off of these six concepts in physics. However, we decided to ignore that, we didn't learn about this, and haven't talked enough about this. So, we're just gonna focus on these three things because I only have three dang minutes, so let's just go! So of course, we'll have to start off with gravity, and we'll have to use our buddy Ross, yes, this is his actual name, to test if gravity actually makes sense here. Now, we don't really know how to calculate exactly the distance of which he falls, but we can assume that each of these squares here represent one meter, though we'll say 1.1 for good measure. Anyways, we just do this, and that was very quick, whoa. And by doing the math, he had an acceleration of about 10.49 meters per second squared, with the final velocity of 4.8 meters per second. Now, I can't really do this test with any other object because well everything falls at the same rate yet they still affect tilting and for some reason things like king pig fall slower this is why we don't talk about king pig but let's get on back to gravity so of course we want to figure out how much weight he has in which we don't really know how much ross weighs but the smallest average weight for a pig seems to be about 140 kilograms so we'll just assume that for him and assuming that we're on earth his weight should be about 1373 newtons but this game is about building contraptions so let's move on to now, I've built this trusty contraption here for Ross, and we're gonna see how fast he can go in this particular distance that I've set up for him. And we'll start the test in three, two, one. Ah, oh, what, oh uh, we're done? Oh, okay. Now, anyways, this test took about 3.42 seconds, in which to finish accelerating, it took about 2.54 seconds. However, I'm not very good at timing here. It is very hard to read what is going on. But by using this assumption, his acceleration should have been about 6.36 meters per second squared, and the final velocity would be about 16.14 meters per second. All right, cool. We found the speed of a vehicle. That's so cool. But you know what a vehicle also has to deal with? Now, here's where things get complicated. We don't know the weight of, like, anything, so that's a problem. So, um, assuming that these values that I found on the internet somewhere, we're just gonna assume that the contraption is about, like, 523.35 kilograms. Uh, you know what, that, that just, that's just good enough. And the coefficient of friction seems to be about 0.35, which is for clean, dry grass when it's driven on car wheels, which we have. And by doing whatever the heck I've been trying to figure out, the friction would be, like, 1,797 newtons. I, look, I, I, I don't even know anymore. So with how everything doesn't make sense with gravity, and how those things don't have a clear indication on how heavy they are, the physics don't make sense at all. But it's a video game, what do you expect? Now, anyways, that's all the time we have- OH SHIT!